Hey, welcome back. Today, we've got some beautiful redfish fillets. I'm gonna show you how I make my favorite redfish dish, blackened redfish. We're gonna put it on a bed of orzo pasta with a lemon and garlic sauce. It's absolutely delicious. It's easy, you can make it at home. But first, I'm gonna take you with me to the marsh and show you how I catch these fish. We'll see you on the water. Today, I've got a Top water tied on, the matrix mullet. I've got uh, my underspin that I use all the time for the white craw. And I've got a matrix shad, quarter ounce jig head. I've got magneto on to start with. And I've got, of course, my good old fascist fashion Texas rig. I'm starting out today with a quarter ounce jig head with a matrix shad, magneto color. Fish or no fish, it feels so good to be out here and have this cooler weather blowing on me. I'm just glad to be wearing a jacket. This water is absolutely gin clear. First fish, nice red. My first cast with the crawfish. Oh, he's gonna go get all up in that grass. Very nice red, perfect size. As soon as I got back here to this pond, it's a rising tide and typically you find these ponds, big, big flats and they'll, they'll be ganged up in here. Got him. I just turned around to leave out of here and I caught a big swirl behind me and I threw at it. He just hammered it. It's a nice size. Man, they are feisty. I mean, he felt like he was a 40 incher way back in here. I think that's going to be the name of the game today. We're just going to have to push back as far as we can go. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off and we're gonna make our sauce for our orzo. We've got about a cup of orzo. First thing we do is we get about four nice sized cloves of garlic. And you can use, you know, store-bought minced garlic if you want, but I, I really like the fresh garlic. And four, I'm just gonna give that a, a quick chop. One fresh squeezed lemon. You can do a half a lemon if you're not a huge lemon fan. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze both halves. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna say an eighth of a cup. Yeah, a little bit of red wine vinegar maybe a teaspoonful and a little bit of sea salt. You don't want to over salt it because we are going to add a little bit of salt to the water. And that's our pasta sauce. 
we'll set this aside. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is get our fillets out. It's important to keep those super, super cold. I keep them buried in ice. I've had these marinating for a couple of days in Italian dressing. Uh, Italian dressing is, is a great marinade. Look how pretty. So we're gonna give these a, a quick rinse. They're ice cold. They just came out from buried under the ice. I'm just gonna rinse them just enough to knock that uh, marinade off of them. I don't wanna go crazy rinsing them and you're gonna wanna use cold water because I don't wanna knock the chill off of the fillets. I want them to stay cold. I just wanna get this excess marinade off of them. So we're just gonna get some cold water going and just give them a quick rinse. Shake the excess water off and then we're gonna set them straight on our paper towels. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, we've got the fillets rinsed. We're just gonna get some paper towels and give them a quick, quick pat down. Make sure we've got all that extra moisture off. You wanna kinda reach down into the little crevices of the fillets. Got some parchment paper. Take them off the towels. Get them on the parchment paper. So this is a Chef Paul's Black and Redfish Magic. This is the best one that I've found because it's got some kick, but it doesn't have too much salt. So you're able to coat it really good like you need to without the fish being too salty. Some, some of these, in order to get the heat and the flavor that you want, you end up getting too much salt. All right, then we're gonna flip them over. So this way we're gonna get a nice coat on both sides. And then once I've got enough, I'm gonna, that big flat edge of the fillets, I'm gonna turn them up, make sure that's got plenty of seasoning. I'm gonna roll it around in this extra that's on here. A lot of this seasoning is gonna come off in the cooking process. Trust me, don't worry about over seasoning it. I'm not putting any salt. I'm not putting any other seasoning. So this is this has to just stand on its own. It's made to do it this way. So it's going to be delicious. All right. So these are ready to go. We're going to get the griddle hot and we're going to set these on. We've got our water boiling, heating up for our pasta. We've got about four quarts of water. We're going to bring that to a boil. We've got a, a side of squash here. We're going to do. There's not really much reason to season it because we're going to cook it after the redfish on the griddle so all that olive oil and seasoning and butter that's on the griddle already is going to get soaked up on the squash and it's going to be delicious you can put a little sea salt on them if you want to you don't have to go ahead and add in our orzo then a quick stir with the wooden spoon just to get it Nice and covered. We're gonna let that boil for 10 minutes. So while that's boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the redfish fillets outside and set them on the griddle. All right, our griddle's getting nice and hot. I can see it smoking. You're gonna to wanna to get your griddle or your cast iron, however you're doing this, as hot as you can possibly get it. We're gonna start with some avocado oil. Avocado oil does good with high heat, so it's a great oil. You can use olive oil too, but I really like this avocado oil on these hot griddles. We've got two, two pads of butter. It's because I'm gonna do two batches, and I'm gonna do one pad of butter for each pad. First, we're gonna start off with this bigger one. I'm gonna let this melt into that, that oil real good. You do not want to lay those fish fillets on until it's absolutely ripping hot. You're going to lose a lot of temperature when you first add those fillets on. So it's important that you start with as hot a temperature as you can get. All right, we've got a real good smoke going. So we're going to go ahead and set the first fillets on. Yes. All right, we're going to let those pretty much burn. We're gonna know these are ready when we push on them and they move easily, that means they're ready to flip. All right, these might be getting close here. We'll kind of give them a little bit of a shove. 
And if it starts moving, that means it's ready. See that move, no problem. So we'll go ahead and give that a quick flip, and that is absolutely perfect. Yep, it's ready. That was about three minutes on the first side. See this dark color? That's exactly what you want. This seasoning is made to do that, so that's absolutely perfect. I can see that white flaky meat inside, so this is gonna be delicious, I can already tell. All right, we'll let that go for a couple more minutes. It's only gonna be about six minutes total, and these are done. So it's high heat, and you're kind of flash cooking these fillets. All right, this first batch looks like they're about done. This smaller one is definitely done. Yep, that's perfect. We're gonna go ahead and take that one off. second batch on there. All right, while our redfish fillets are finishing up on the griddle out there, our orzo has been on about 10 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and drain this. We're gonna hit this with some cold water for just a second, and that's gonna stop the cooking process and keep it from overcooking. Just a tad. All right, while that's draining, we'll go ahead and flip over our second batch of redfish fillets. All right, once we got our pasta good and drained, we'll take this and we'll dump it back in the pot that we cooked it in. We're gonna go ahead and add our lemon garlic sauce. Just dump the whole thing. And then give that a good stir. Then we're gonna go ahead and just set the lid on that. You don't have to worry about that pasta sticking together because the olive oil and the sauce is gonna keep it separated. So we'll let that sit for a second and we'll go out and put these vegetables on and pull those last fillets off. They're perfect. We're gonna go ahead and take these off. Look at that. We're gonna add a little bit more oil. We're gonna go ahead and add our vegetables. And this is so good because this squash is going to soak up a lot of that good flavor that's already on the griddle. All right, we're going to let those cook for probably four or five minutes. That's all they need. All right, so to plate this up, we're going to get a couple scoops of the orzo. We've already got our sauce on the orzo. We're going to get one of these fillets and we're just going to lay it right on top. And we're going to get some vegetables like that. And there you go. Delicious Cajun blackened redfish on a lemon garlic sauce orzo. All right, let's see if this is any good. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at this white flaky meat. Some of that garlic sauce. Believe me, it's delicious. You gotta try it. Woo! <laughs> this is good, baby. I hope y'all enjoyed today's episode. Hopefully, next time I see you, I'll be on the water catching some big speckle trout. The water temperatures have come down. They're just starting to come down. It's early fall here, but I think we got a big cold front coming in next week. I know some guys are already catching some big ones, but hopefully I'll be able to get out there, catch some big trout, and take y'all along. So we'll catch you on the next episode.